Hi guys, this is Maria from Little Needs and today we will work a slippy cap. Unfortunately, I don't have one ready, but I will work with you step by step my pattern. Uh, this slippy cap is a photography prop and this video tutorial is a request from my dear friend Georgiana from Light Bay Studio. She's a newborn child and family photographer. So here I am introducing you my knotted sleepy cap. The yarn I am using for this tutorial is a very popular yarn among the prop vendors. Um, it is a fuzzy and a very soft yarn, perfect for newborn babies. So this is the yarn. This is Embrace from King Call. And the shade is this one. The gauge for this yarn is this one. I hope you can see. Of course, 22 stitches uh, and uh, 28 rows work in stockinette stitch. You will obtain a square of 10 by 10 centimeters or 4 by 4 inches using 4 millimeter needles or US 6 but for my project I will use needles 4.5 millimeters or US 7 okay um, another um, thing very important detail I will work circular this sleepy cap so um, if you are not used to knit circular um, this might be a problem but I think if you just follow the part pattern back and forth and at the end sew the hat um, the result will be okay but I only circular knitting so um, of course in this tutorial uh, also I will knit this sleepy cap uh, circular I'm using double pointed needles for double pointed needles okay first we need to long tail cast on uh, 50 four stitches let's see if i can find okay this is a mess so we need to cast on 54 stitches so i will cast on 18 stitches on my first double pointed needle 18 on my second double pointed needle and another 18 stitches on my third double pointed needle okay so this is how I cast on with the help of these two fingers I grab the yarn with this I pull this loop and I do like this you see so I have two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15, 16, 
17, 18. So these are my first 18 stitches for my first double pointed needle. Next, I take my second double pointed needle. You see? And I continue to cast on another 18 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen you see and now my third needle just grab them together like this and cast on another 18 stitches of course if you have another method of casting on uh, stitches please use um whatever you are uh, used to so one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18. I want to count again my first stitches 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Okay. So I have my all uh, 54 stitches. I will make a knot here and I will cut. Uh, this tail because it's too long and this tail will actually be my stitch marker so uh, whenever I have this tail on my right hand that means that I am at the beginning of a row okay next we will join in round so let me show you. These are my stitches. We uh, need to be careful not to, to twist them, okay? So I'm turning my work like this. Okay. You see? Okay, so I did not twist my stitches. Next, we need to work six rows in a rib one by one, rib one by one, uh, meaning you will knit one stitch, purl the next, knit one, purl the next. This is the repeat, okay? So first, for a couple of uh, four or five stitches I will knit together with this little tail uh, just to be sure that I am uh, securing um, well my stitches like this so I'm starting with a knit stitch the first row it's uh, the most harder because it's the setup row okay now, after my first knit stitch, I will make here two knots. And 
and I continue to work the next stitch, which is a purl stitch. And this is the repeat. Knit one, purl one, knit one, and I leaving this little tail on the back of my work like this and continue for one again knit one for one knit one for one knit one for one knit one for one knit pearl knit and pearl so on every double pointed needle the last stitch is a pearl stitch next i continue to work and at the beginning of every double pointed needle make sure to pull up this first stitch so we close the gap here between the two needles okay so i'm starting with a knit stitch i continue to purl knit purl knit purl knit purl knit purl until the end of the stitches of this second double pointed needle okay so I am at the last stitch it's a purl stitch and my last needle again knit one stitch and pull up this this stitch and continue to work until the end of the row of course if you uh, want you can place a stitch marker at the beginning of the first stitch on every row but i am used to um follow this little tail okay i almost done with a row one so i i said we uh, need six rows in rib one by one so this is my first row and i continue to work my second row knit one purl one knit one purl one And because I'm working the needle with my tail, I know this is the beginning of my uh, second row. Okay. It might seem difficult, but it is not once you get used to this method. You will find it not so so complicated okay so this is my second row in rib one by one this is my dog so i am living at countryside for the moment and uh, actually i am making this tutorial outside in my mom yard so i hope you don't hurt a lot of noise we have a lot of birds here and animals and that kind of stuff but we also have a very 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 beautiful um, place here okay so this is the second row i almost finished my second row of course if you don't want to make this uh, this edge in one by one rib you can start the bonnet 
working only knit stitches okay so following um the same uh, measurements and decreases that i will give you in this tutorial you can work only in knit stitch or if you are working back and forth you will work in stockinette stitch depend on how you um like more okay so this was my second row i will continue to work in rib one by one until i have my six rows and i will come back and explain how we will work next i've done my six rows in rib one by one next we will work only in knit stitch from now on until we have eight centimeters i think in inches this will be uh 3.15 inches and after we have these eight centimeters or 3.15 inches we will start to decrease for this sleepy cap okay so remember we start with 54 stitches we work in rib one by one for about six rows and then we continue to knit until we have eight centimeters or 3.15 inches so the hardest part was the start of this slippy cap now it's more easy of course um if it is more easy for you to use circular needles and not double pointed needles you can use circular needles and um, once we get to the decrease part uh, you can change to double pointed needles i am so used to work like this and that's why for me it's not hard knitting like this i actually work sleeves and legs of my sleepers with double pointed needles this is just how i prefer you can work um what you prefer what is more easy for you okay so we continue to work in knit stitch and i will come back once i have my eight centimeters long see this is how i will show you once i finish this second row of my knit stitch how it look so far my sleepy cap this is not a difficult pattern it's easy to follow okay so i done two rows in knit stitch and this is how my work looks so far and i will come back once i have my eight centimeters or 3.15 inches so i have my eight centimeters okay or 3.15 inches so 
<clears throat> in total here I have um, 22 rows so I have six rows in rib one by one and 16 rows in knit stitch okay so 22 rows um, it's not so important um, the number of rows for this pattern only uh, when we start to decrease but if you want I will follow the rows and now we will start row 23 and uh, the first decrease for our sleepy cap <clears throat> so row 23 on row 23 we start with knit seven stitches one two three four five six seven next we knit two stitches together so we've made a decrease and this is the repeat for row 23 knit seven one two three four five six seven then knit two stitches together these are um, the stitches for the first double pointed needle next knit seven three four five six seven then knit two stitches together knit seven three four five six seven knit two stitches together and my last double pointed needle knit seven two three four five six seven then knit two stitches together and again knit seven four five six seven then knit the last two stitches together so this was row 23 after this row you should count 48 stitches next the next three rows we will work in knit stitch okay so row 24 25 and 26 we only knit okay and i will come back for row 27 so i've done <coughs> sorry my um row 26 now we will start row 27 and this in uh, on this row we again we decreased so row 27 knit six stitches two three four five six then knit two stitches together again knit six six knit two stitches together and this is the repeat for row 27 knit six <coughs> two four five six then knit two stitches together knit six two three four five six knit two stitches together and my last two repeats knit six two three four five six 
then knit two stitches together knit six one two three four five six and knit the last two stitches together so this was row 27 the next five rows we will work in knit stitch so row um, 28 29 30 31 and 32 we only knit okay so the next five rows we only knit and I will come back to work with you row 33 I've done row until row 32 um, I forgot to mention that after our second uh, decrease row you should count uh, 42 stitches so with every decrease row we uh, lose six stitches okay so now I uh, I've done row uh, 32 and I have 42 stitches it's time for another decrease row row 33 on row 33 we start with knit five stitches two four five then knit two stitches together knit five stitches one two three four five knit two stitches together again knit five stitches one two three four five knit two stitches together knit five stitches three four five knit two stitches together two more repeats knit five one two three four five knit two stitches together knit five my last repeat knit two stitches together <clears throat> so this was row 33 next we will knit seven rows after row 33 you should count 36 stitches and um, what I'm gonna do now is to place my 36 stitches onto um, only two double pointed, pointed needles so this is my row 34 I will knit 18 stitches two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve place aside my needle and continue thirteen fourteen fifteen 16 17 18 stitches and again 1 2 3 4 5 6 let's see 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 so now i'm working only with three double pointed needles it's more easy because we have less stitches of course you can continue to work um 
as you did until now uh if you don't like um to follow uh, my method okay so our sleepy uh is taking shape so um this was row 34 we need to work uh six more rows in a neat stitch so row um 35 uh 36 37 38 39 and 14 uh in knit stitch so knit until the row um 40 and i will come back for another uh decrease row i've done row 40 uh i'm sorry if uh um i said 14 um you know that my english is not that good so uh, i get confused with 14 and 40 so this was row 40 okay now we will start a row 41 and uh, row 41 is a decrease row so we start with uh, knit four stitches one two three four then knit two stitches together knit four two three four and knit two stitches together knit four two three four and knit two stitches together continue knit four one two three four knit two stitches together knit four two three four knit two stitches together and the last repeat knit four knit two stitches together so this was row uh, 41 the next uh, seven rows we will knit and i will come back to you to work row 49 so from row 41 until uh, 48 we knit and i will come back for row 49 I've done row 48. Now we will start row um, 49 and row 49 is a decrease row. So on row 49 we start with knit 3 stitches. Then knit 2 stitches together. So this is the repeat for row 49 knit three stitches knit two stitches together knit three knit two stitches together knit three knit two together knit three knit two together and the last repeat knit three knit two stitches together so this was row uh, 49 and after this row you should count 24 stitches next we will work 10 rows of knit stitch so from row 49 until row 59 we only knit and i will come back for row 60. i've done until row 59 next we start with row 60 On row 60 we start by knitting two stitches then knit two stitches together so this is the repeat for row 60 knit two 
knit two stitches together knit two knit two stitches together next knit two stitches knit two stitches together knit two knit two together knit two knit two together so this was row 60 after row 60 you should count 18 stitches 2 4 6 8 9 2 4 6 8 9 so 18 stitches after row 60 the next 10 rows we only knit so from row um, 6 starting row 61 uh, until row 17 uh, 70 sorry 10 rows we only knit so I've done until row uh, 70 now uh, we will start the row 71 and this row is the last decrease row of our uh, sleepy cap so the last uh, decrease row we start by knitting one stitch then knit two stitches together so this is the repeat row, uh, knit one knit two together knit one knit two together again knit one knit two stitches together knit one knit two stitches together knit one knit two stitches together so this was row uh, 71 after this last decrease row you should count uh, 12 stitches until now i have worked 27 uh, centimeters um this will be i think 10.6 inches from now on you will only knit no more decreases until you have a total of um at least 45 centimeters long so uh, the sleepy cap my sleepy cap my version measures 45 centimeters or um i think this will be approximately 18 inches because we will make a knot here and we will lose length so this is a long uh, a sleepy cap version because you know we can work a uh, shorter sleepy cap but this is the long one okay so from now on we uh, don't count any more rows um, uh, because uh, it was important here at the decrease part uh, to count uh, the rows from now on we only need until we have at least uh, 40, uh, cent 45 centimeters long or 18 inches of course if you want uh, a little bit shorter uh, you can work uh, less centimeters of in or inches depending on how you prefer i will work uh, 45 centimeters or 18 inches and i will come back to close the stitches with you to make the knot uh, to sew this little tail and to show you how it fits on my mannequin head so stay with me i've worked my uh, 45 centimeters or 18 inches the next step is to cut the yarn leaving a short tail because now we are um, closing the stitches we need a needle yarn I already have one here 
and we will pick up the stitches from uh, the two double pointed needles like this remember that we have 12 stitches it's been a long time since I uh, knitted this eucalyptus color from Embrace okay so now we wave the yarn through the stitches pull tight to close the stitches I will make a knot here or a double knot okay wave again the stitches I will insert in the back of my work the needle all tied and cut this tail I have here another tail from my cast on I need to sew this one too like this actually I'm waving to hide not sewing back and forth and that's it I recommend you to um, steam block a little bit uh, this bonnet this uh, sleepy cap now I'm making the knot like this and this is it this is our newborn a long sleepy cap photography prop see it might seem very long but it's not it's just perfect like this let me show you better so this is it this is my sleepy cap in newborn size of course you can arrange a little bit it's different um when you put it on the baby um head the real baby okay for the next tutorial i have a surprise for you uh i'm not gonna say nothing for the moment um it will be something to match this uh sleepy cap uh i will uh uh, tell about this new tutorial on my Instagram account little needs you can uh, uh, check out and uh, follow me if you want to see what I daily post my work in progress for different projects and uh, uh, I started to um, uh, testing one of my patterns uh, because I have so many um, I decided that uh, a couple of them I will uh, uh, um, write them uh, for my Etsy shop so soon they can be purchased on my Etsy shop 
and uh, of course I will continue to make tutorials because uh, the feedback you send me is just uh, a positive one and uh, I want to thank you so much for uh, uh, for being here and for, uh, for uh, helping me to grow um, as a knitter and uh, to help my channel of course uh, thank you very very much I hope you will enjoy knitting this uh, little sleepy cap and uh, if you have a problem with this uh, tutorial please um, uh, PM me um, uh, leave a message here on my channel I try to answer as soon as possible thank you very much until the next tutorial I wish you happy happy knitting bye bye